everybody, welcome to another FYI Friday. My name is Marianne Knowles and I'm with the Jameson team at Lively Real Estate. As you all know, I'm a licensed real estate agent in beautiful Tampa Bay and I like to put out weekly videos to provide you some info on the real estate market. So today we're gonna talk about what's been going on lately with the real estate market and whether this is still a seller's market or a buyer's market. So here we are in the first week of October and it's been known historically to be one of the best times of the year to buy a home. This year is really no different. So let's first start with sellers. Um, earlier this year in uh, April and May, it was mayhem. Uh, homes were on the market, buyers were going crazy. I can remember being in lines and lines around the corner waiting to get in and then even when we got into homes, it was almost like being stampeded just to get through the front door. Buyers were going crazy to get their offers in and they basically pulled out all the stops to do so. Um, some of them did it without really putting much thought and made some hasty decisions. Sellers had offers galore on their homes um, up in the teens and they had really strong offers to choose from. Uh, right now, months later, it seems as though that's uh, slowed down a bit. It's still a red hot, hot market. I still have um, listings that are get that have gotten multiple offers. They're just not getting a crazy amount as they once were, and the um, offers are not just as outlandish as they were before. It just seems like buyers are being a little bit more strategic with them these days. So if you are in the market to sell, this is definitely still a perfect time. Inventory is still low, rates are still low, and uh, you'll still get top dollar for your home. As for buyers, Yes, it was crazy at that time, and now even though inventory is still low, uh, this latter half of the year is predicted to be almost 18% more with listings as the year started. So you may have a few more homes to choose from. Re interest rates are also still very low, so you're still getting a lot of home for your dollar, and um, you have less competition because it just doesn't seem like there's that many offers being put on one home. So I do encourage you as a buyer to take your time, look for a home, really put in the strongest offer that you could, um, and then hopefully you'll get your offer accepted. As far as 2022, we don't really know what's, what's gonna be happening with those two unknown factors, such as the mortgage, mortgage rates and home appreciation. Um, it is predicted that as the economy recovers, the mortgage rates will increase a bit, and Homes are said to actually increase in value by twenty to twenty-four thousand dollars. So, really, if you ha if you're thinking about waiting until 2022 to buy a home, I would consider doing it right now, only because we don't know how those factors are going to be turning out. So, if you have any questions about today's topic, anything else, I hope you all know I mean it in sincerity. If you have any questions about real estate, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. Otherwise, we'll see you next Friday for another FYI Friday. Take care.